guys welcome back to my channel long time no talk how are you guys Ooh, so yeah definitely long time no talk i don't think i've vlogged since like way before new york trip like probably early october it's just been a while but today is monday october 24th and I'm here checking in, starting a new vlog for you guys. So I'm in the office, as you guys can see, I'm actually getting ready to leave. It's already five, what is it, 5.18. I just finished up with my last client of the day. So I'm kind of just cleaning up, you know, leaving everything nice and fresh and clean and ready for the next round, the next day. I did want to show you guys a little bit of my waiting room furniture since I'm already here because I don't know that I'll be vlogging in the office like for the rest of the vlog, like this vlog. All right, so let me show you guys the stuff that came in. So boom, we got furniture. So you guys had already seen the waiting room chair. So pretty much this, this, and this is new. And this came in a set. It was like a three set like this, which is exactly what I wanted. I really wanted like a three piece set so that way I'm not mix and matching different furniture. So it all kind of matches with everything. So yeah, this is the coffee table. I love the material. It literally feels just like my office table material. Like this is just so easy to clean and stuff. So I love that. Love this little three tier thing. I kind of just put that right there for now. But of course, I'm going to get like little plants, just cute little, you know, just that kind of just gives it a pop, like some type of decor like that. Over here is my little coffee station. So everything is ready. I did get a new Keurig. This is the same one that I have at my house. So I just got another one of those. Um, all the little K cups and stuff are in here. Lids, creamers, cups, granola bars. Oh, the people been grabbing the granola bars. I'm glad. <laughs> Need to refill them. So yeah. And then I got a new eco show i think i had already showed you guys this but yeah i got another eco show to put right here and over here i kind of just play music you know and then i have like different little pictures on the slideshow right there but yeah the room is filled up over here i'm gonna put a sofa and then right here is gonna be another picture frame because that wall is very empty but i already know exactly what kind of wall art i want there um so yeah i really like it the only thing that if i could i would change about this furniture set is like the color right here right now it's pulling very yellow just because um i kind of have the windows a little bit closed but it's more I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I wish it was a little bit more of the champagne gold, kind of like how this thing is. Um, I don't know about the color. Like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. You know, it's kind of like, okay, it kind of goes with everything. With the walls being gray, I feel like it definitely pulls a lot of cool tones in here. So it kind of, you know, it can it can take a little bit of like warmth if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, if I could change one thing about it, it would literally just be that, but everything else I love. Like, I love the material. I love that it has, like, different shelving um, on all of them, because even here, you could just, like, pop a decor piece, you know, and just kind of gives it some layers to it. And then I got this rose bouquet. So this is actually going in my office. Um, I kind of just put it out here for now, because over here, I actually want to get the baby blue roses. Let me open this for you guys here ah. okay there we go but yeah in this coffee table here i want to get the baby blue roses that kind of match my logo but i got the light pink ones for my office these are the same this is the same bouquet that i have in my home office because i love that it has this little drawer and you can put like pens and you know just little storage in here but yeah this is from rose forever you guys know this is the company that i use for all my forever roses their quality is just amazing like i literally have a bouquet that's over three years old and it's still like perfect i don't know it's just so good 
This is their collection for October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So they're actually giving back like $2 for every bouquet sold back to research. So that's really cute. And there's a ton of different like pink flowers you guys can choose from. This is the lightest shade, but they do have a darker pink. They have the round one. They have heart shape. They have like a marble packaging they have the velvet packaging like literally so many so i will leave it linked down below i also have a coupon code for you guys like i'm always shopping with this company and stuff so i will leave the coupon code down below if you guys want to hop on that sale but i think it looks so cute right here i can't wait until i get the blue ones because i'm actually gonna get the big one like the big blue bouquet but this one's gonna go in my office i'm just gonna leave it right here for now just because I don't have any decor pieces right here, but I love them so much. Rose forever. Link will be below. Check out their different bouquets, you guys. I'm telling you, they have so many different colors and things. But yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna turn the lights off. I already turned, I already turned the fountain off. I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't remember if I showed it in the vlog. I think I did. But in case I didn't, <laughs> here it is, the front desk logo so everything front desk wise is pretty much complete and ready and then little mini updates on my office i bought this little thing i'm not crazy about it i mean honestly i should have just gotten the furniture piece that i have in the actual iv room which is like a little roll-on thing and it has a lot more drawers like these are just so they're so small and flimsy like i don't i don't know look at this like it's just so like poorly made and look paint chips everywhere <laughs> like what is this look no, I'm, I'm honestly even thinking about returning it because i'm like why would i even spend money on this when i could just get the one that's like a lot more sturdy bigger like i couldn't even fit those things in the drawer so at this point i'm like what's the point of that it looks childish like it literally looks like <laughs> like a little doll house or something and it's so low like y'all i'm sure and this thing like i have to literally bend all the way down like i don't know maybe it was meant for kids i, I didn't really even look at the description yeah i kind of wanted something to go like behind my desk with just like drawers and things because the actual desk that i bought doesn't have any drawers you know for storage so but girl i'm probably gonna return it and just get the one that i have in the IV room <clears throat> oh yeah by the way if I sound a little hoarse or um, raspy I'm just getting over which I think it's like a cold so I came back from Orlando last week yeah last week last weekend I was in Orlando um, and I don't know if it was like the change in weather because so I was in New York which was cold then I came home left to Orlando which was hot and then I came back home and we had like a major cold front. So I don't know if that back and forth like kind of took me out the game. Um, I took two COVID tests and they were negative. Um, it was pretty much just like a major cough like for a good like a day. But it was like so intense you guys like nothing was calming me down. Like I was having like cough coughing spasms. Like I was just coughing 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 and I wouldn't stop um and then so the next day like my body was hurting like you know that diaphragm pain and like you like my lungs like the back just from coughing so much um but that was it like it was pretty much a straight up cough and I think I had like a day of congestion maybe so now it's just kind of like the aftermath you know I'm still like a little I still feel like the chest congestion so I had a mask on today just in case because you know, even if it is a cold, you don't want to be, like, contagious and stuff. So, yeah, if my voice sounds crazy, that's why. Um, all right, so let me... Oh, my God, I have so many missed calls. And ugh, this lady, like, she keeps trying to... I mean, she can just text me because at this point... <laughs> and then my mom called me when I was with a client, so I had to call her back. But yeah, guys, hope you have been doing well. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head home. I'm like, ugh, this is traffic hours. Today I was actually here all day. I, I try to leave the spa by like four at the latest. But um, sometimes if like if people want that last, last appointment, it's like a 4.15, 4.30 appointment. 
Um, and these past two days, um, I've been staying here till like past five. So now I'm just gonna be stuck in traffic, but it's okay. <clears throat> um, when I get home, I'm gonna go and, where did I do my water bottle? Cause I'm thirsty. Yeah, just kind of like prepare dinner. And what I wanna do is like finish taking off these lashes. There's like a couple, yeah, there's just like a few lashes left and I wanna take them off. I wanna give my eyes a break give my lashes a break actually till like end of November kind of like right before Thanksgiving I'll go ahead and do another full set it's a new lash tech so that's gonna be the move because I don't know I was just kind of things were not going too well with my current lash tech like I don't know like I was losing lashes my eyelid was starting to get itchy I don't know if like she changed the glue and she kept talking about how like she was going back and forth with the glues and like <clears throat> I don't know I found somebody new so i'll check her out like in the end of november but i want to like just baby my lashes for all of you know these next like what five weeks um you know just to let them breathe a little bit so yeah i want to try to do that today like just put on the you know the gel remover and just try to get those last lashes off but yeah guys let's just finish closing okay i need to turn the tv off in here Oh, here's my water. It's so thirsty right now. Like, oh, see, I know it was like all these spam calls. Like, so annoying. So annoying. All right, this light can come off. Front desk light can come off. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me turn the AC down. The weather is so crazy. It's like... this thermostat you guys i'm like i can't wait until i get my like well it's already here i'm just waiting for the guy to install it like the this is like the really oh shit girl i just spilled my water everywhere you see what happens when you're like about to leave as i was saying um <laughs> the thermostat is already here i'm just waiting for the guy to install it but this, the one that I currently have is like the really old school one that you like have to kind of move it. All right, let me dry this up. Throw the whole little no, there's still water in there. I'll just put it away for like tomorrow. Okay. All right, friends. Let's grab all of our items. Oh, you did I? Yeah. This light can just get turned off. All right. Everything is officially off. All right, guys. So I will talk to you guys possibly at home later today. If not tomorrow. Tomorrow's like an errands day, so I have like a little bit more free time. I don't know why I decided to start the vlog like right now <laughs> at the end of the day. But yeah, tomorrow I have like more time to chat and stuff. And we have errands. And I actually have a really exciting thing going on tomorrow i don't know if i'll tell you guys in this vlog maybe i don't know but y'all will see some little teams that i'm up to hold on i'm just making sure i'm taking all my stuff mm. yeah all right let's lock and let's how beautiful this red tree is hold on hold on you gotta see this look at this like oh my gosh that's stunning 
that is like so pretty. Whew. All right, guys, time to drive in the traffic. Um, yeah, let's roll. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I took my lashes off. <laughs> Feels so good, so fresh to take a little lash break. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have them off for about a month. And just get them back done right before Thanksgiving. What is this? So, so yeah, today has been pretty chill. I haven't really gotten much done. It was kind of like a day off, really. I've just kind of been relaxing, reading. I did like a little bit of cleaning. Um, but I'm getting ready to head out to my meeting. I'm excited. I have to pick up my mom on the way. And, yeah. Um... Let me just kind of blend that little powder out. Okay. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Like right now, it's 75 degrees. Like this is like the crazy time of the weather because it's cold in the morning and then it goes up to the 70s like during the day. So it's like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get hot if I wear a sweater. But literally by 6 p.m., it's going to go down to 69 and then like down to like 61, 59. I mean... And I think I may be leaving this place, like, you know, obviously after sunset time, I'm pretty sure. So by that point, it'll be cold. So that's what I'm kind of trying to figure out. Oh, the look. Maybe like a little cardigan or something. I just don't know about the shoe. Um, and then this is the lip gloss I'm going to put on probably around the time I leave. It's just like a little pink one. I was going to do a nude. Or should I do a brown? Actually, I might do this brown because we're kind of in the fall. Is this open? Yeah, this is open. So this is the color Fudge Me. This always looks really nice with like a nudie underneath. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait till around when I leave. And then, oh yeah, I did laundry today too, which was good. I was kind of overwhelmed because, you know, I've been like not feeling too good as far as like I told you guys I had that little cold thing going on. So my house was like a mess, like dishes, um, not like, um, like crazy bad, but you know, it wasn't like to how I like it. Like, I feel like my floors were dusty. There's just like things on my nightstand, like little, you know, peppermint stuff, you know, all your little sicky utensils that always go on your nightstand. So yeah, I kind of just did a little bit of cleaning. I feel much better now that things are like decluttered, like my kitchen is like disinfected, my island is like decluttered. So that's kind of what's what today has consisted of, kind of getting a little bit back on track. <laughs> um, but yeah, my cousin is coming on Saturday. So I know I, to I told you guys a few vlogs ago that my cousin and my aunt were gonna come in October just like a random October trip but I'm excited they're gonna be here for um Halloween um we don't really have any plans yeah I don't really celebrate Halloween like all that much but you know since they're here so yeah we'll see what we end up doing I do know that on Saturday when they come let me see because I have clients that day let me see what time I finish at the spa on Saturday <sighs> let's see saturday so we have iv shot duo okay so i should be done around like my usual time which is like three and that's not bad i think they come in the afternoon so that should be perfect but yeah i'm excited that my cousin will be here they're gonna be here for a week all right but let me head into my closet and try to figure out this clothing situation honestly i kind of just want to throw on i think i kind of know oh wait <sighs> yeah and i did some organizing like in my closet too let me put my nose ring back on i always forget to put this thing on like lately i've just been taking it off and I usually like to take it off, like, when I do my makeup so that I can really, like, blend right there. And then I forget. And I really need a lotion on my hands. They are so dry, and I feel like my cuticles are, like, really dry. <laughs> I need some oil. All right. Uh, so hard with the nails. No, I need a good closer. Hold on. 
Okay, nose ring is back. Oh yeah, the other thing that I've been doing today is kind of doing some online shopping. So my new service room is finally time to furnish that. So I've had like a couple things like in my cart, like kind of just waiting for the right time. But I've just been adding a whole bunch of things to the cart, like my little online shopping cart just to start furnishing that room and then i did get a new piece for the iv room also that i'm going to put under the tv so kind of like those little console tables that way i have some more like table space to put you know like little flyers like a little discount thing like brochures like just more space to actually like sit things down um so i bought that well it's in the cart so that's in the cart and then for my other service room i have like the chair in the car i found this really nice um almost like a cabinetry thing because I, I didn't want to have to put cabinetry in there but I did want like some drawers you know shelving for like supplies and things that's going to go for that service um so I found that um I got a couple more things for my desk to organize um so yeah the furnishing I feel like never ends really with the spa like sometimes I go in there and I'm like oh my god like I've gotten so much done and then I look I'm like gosh there's still a lot like it's kind of overwhelming sometimes honestly to look at like all the space and you're like all right this needs to be filled up um but I think it's going good you know I'm not I don't want to stress myself and be like oh I need to have it done you have it done this is why I decided to like push my grand opening all the way until next year like january time so that way i could just take my time with furnishing and kind of just you know bringing the space together um but yeah that was actually pretty productive for today to find like those furniture pieces and stuff put some, some lotion on my hands um but yeah that's just pretty much been the um, yeah just kind of what's been going on today nice and chill relaxed day um <clears throat> oh yeah that feels so good on my cuticles do you guys use cuticle oil i don't sometimes i feel like it's just too oily like you know what i'm saying i kind of just like to do lotion much better and then i don't know if i told you guys but my nails i can't get my nail appointment till i think it's the 15th of november so I'm going to have to rock these nails for another three weeks, which isn't bad. Like, I mean, the growth, like, you can't even really tell right now. Like, I, I recently got these done. I got them done, like, right before Orlando. So they're still pretty fresh. Um, But, yeah, the new nail tech, like, she gets pretty booked. And I'm still considered, like, a new client. So, like, with her, once you've booked three times like now you're like a regular so like her schedule comes out a day before for like her regular so i'm sure you know they take up all the spots and then the next day is for like new clients so like these past you know two times i've had to book like on the second day and when i went on there to book like girl there was like maybe three days left in november and i'm like oh god so yeah that was the only day that i was able to get but thankfully i mean they're holding up pretty good i am kind of ready to, to do something new like usually when i have a design i'm like all right <laughs> um no idea what, i think i do have an idea what i want for november i think i want like a cranberry color um so we'll see what we end up doing but but yeah guys um all right, so I'm going to leave this camera in here charging. I need to sit you guys down so that I can get dressed. What time is it? 4 p.m. So, yeah, I'm leaving pretty soon.
the shower. She's feeling fresh. Um, so today has been pretty productive. So as you guys saw, I went to the spa earlier, Home Depot, kind of like errands and things. I needed to go to the spa mainly just to like organize. Like, I don't know, remember earlier in the vlog, I was like, oh, I'm kind of like overwhelmed with like, I don't know, I just felt like a lot of stuff was like unorganized, including my house and like the spa. Um, I just feel like I needed to organize. So I took today to kind of go in there. I was only there for like maybe two hours because there was some stuff that we needed to finish in the IV wall, which was driving me crazy. Like it was just like a patch that needed to be like smoothened out and then just painted where we kind of moved some of the electrical outlets. Um, so yeah, finally that was finished. And then I took that time to kind of just clean stuff up because I had like boxes and things from supplies that had came in that I kind of just had sitting in my office, you know, just like those little things. Cause usually like when I'm there and I'm working, like when I'm done for the day, like I'm ready to go. And like these past, like, yeah, like, all of last week and, like, all the days that I've been there, I've had, like, full days. Like, I've pretty much been finishing my day around 5. So, when it's that late, like, honestly, the first thing I want to do is just, like, jet out and try to, like, beat traffic. <laughs> so, anyways, I just had, like, boxes and things piling up. But today I went in. Everything is nice and organized. I got, like, two, actually, three shipments in today, which was, I'm actually glad that I went because... Um, I had things like sitting out on the door that was I needed to bring inside. So I got a vitamin shipment. I got the VIP shipment, which you guys saw. And what else? And a box of fluids. So took everything, put everything away. Very productive. Um, speaking of peels, so yeah, it is peel season now that it's like end of October. You know, we're getting into like the colder months. So I'm super excited to get back to doing peels. I think the last time I did a peel was like February. Um, because as I've told you guys, like people don't usually get peels in the summer. I mean, it's not really recommended just because you have to stay away from the sun, stay away from heat. So I mean, and you know, people are traveling, going to the beach. It's just like not a good time to do it because your face eventually is just going to get exposed to the sun. Um, so yeah, haven't done peels. Um, I pretty much didn't put in an order. I think, like I said, the last peel I did was February and that was like my last box. So yeah, I got a new shipment in. So I'm excited. People have already been booking. I was supposed to do one tomorrow, but I actually may try to come next week. So, yeah, excited to do peels. And then the other thing I went to the spa to do was to kind of map out my service, the second service room that I talked about um, in the clip before that I had, like, things in my cart ready to check out. So I wanted to, act, like, actually be in the room and kind of, you know, imagine, like, where the things that I'm purchasing is going to go. So I'm glad I went because it was, like, much better to actually be in there and be like, okay. And even, like, you know, measure the stuff um, that I already had in the cart. So I ended up placing that order, so I'm excited. I got the chair for that um, room. I got one furniture piece that's gonna go there. It just has like, it's just like cabinetry kind of thing. Super cute, I can't wait till you guys see it. It has like glass doors, so I plan on maybe putting some things like on display, like maybe retail items. And then what else did I get? I got the little rolling metal tray thing. I just wanted to have another one for that room. I did end up buying like a console table that's going to go in my IV room um, that I just want to like go under the TV. Just um, but yeah, I can't wait till that stuff comes. Um, it's going to be shipping very early. Today is what, Wednesday? And I think it said some of it was going to come Friday, but I just, you know how you can pick on Amazon for everything to come in one day. So I think it's going to arrive possibly on Tuesday, which I think is a day after Halloween, I think. So yeah, I'm excited. Things are coming along. But yeah, today was productive. So tomorrow I'm actually in the spa um, all day. So I'm glad I got all those things done. Like I feel better now, like things are organizing good. So that was pretty much what I did today. I am in my little spare closet right now. Oh wait, I need this blow dryer. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Oh my God, don't fall. I'm gonna organize this little area right here. This is where I keep like my purses and robes and things. Okay. I'm trying to grab this cord here. I actually need a new blow dryer because this one, it kind of pulls on my hair like from the back. Like this part. Is it this one or the other one? I think it is this one. Yeah, because like when I have it flipped over, like sometimes like it kind of grabs my hair from back here and I don't like that. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna dry my hair and then cook. So it's 7.45 right now. Everything's already marinating, seasoning. I'm making like a chicken stir fry with veggies, like bell pepper, onion. I'll show it to you guys when I'm cooking. And then what else? And then I'm just gonna sit down and actually edit um, this video right here that y'all are watching. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, like I said, tomorrow I'm at the spa and I'd like to have the video up tomorrow. So, plus I'm like, and I'm done for the day. So I might as well just kind of relax, wind down, maybe have a glass of wine. I haven't had wine in days because <laughs> um, I was sick. So I was just taking like cough medicine and stuff. And like my throat was, you know, like I just didn't want that like burn of wine. Um, but yeah, I need to have a little glass of my sweet red and just chill and vibe so let me dry my hair and i'll be right back with you guys Ooh, oh my god it's hot look how red my cheeks got <sighs> this is so hot with that blow dryer oh my goodness <clears throat> okay i'm not gonna dry my hair all the way because honestly i'm just like hot but yeah i'm just gonna leave my hair like this kind of just my natural wave i'm gonna put it up in a bun right now because i'm gonna go cook but i didn't want to like do too much to my hair because i'm gonna wash it again on Friday? Yeah, Friday. Because like I told you guys, my cousin and my aunt come on Saturday. So in case we end up like going out or doing something Saturday, Sunday, you know, my hair will be done. I'll probably curl it. Probably curl it because I just had it straight. Oh, girl, my neck. It's like hot. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. And I took my nose ring out again. I keep forgetting to put it back on. Like whenever I take my makeup off or I'm doing my makeup, then I just take the nose ring off um all right what else is left to do in the bedroom out before i head to the kitchen oh that's my dad calling me my dad is actually in nicaragua right now on vacay hello hi como estas Okay, guys, I just got done chatting with my dad, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like I said, he is in Nicaragua, so his birthday was yesterday, so he decided to take a trip over there for his birthday, which I love that for him. I'm like, you needed that, because I think the last time he went, you know, like, it was just, like, bad times, like, you know, his, um, sister passed away, which was my aunt, this was, like, what, two years ago? 2020, yeah, 2020 terrible year for a lot of things but yeah so you know that was like the last time that he went so this is more like vacation and just chill and joy so i love that for him but um <clears throat> but yeah guys i think i'm done in the bedroom actually so i am gonna go cook I'm trying to think if i had anything else to tell you guys i need to put some lip balm on but it's in the car well the one that i want is in the car i only have my really shiny ones just my, like basic lip balm because i'm about to eat girl i'm excited to eat because i haven't been cooking these past few days because i had been sick and stuff so anyways all right let's get to cooking just came out of my room and look what she did with her bed put it all the way over here <laughs> what is she doing <gasps> oh my god you're so bad I think I bought this in New York for her. <gasps> you love the raccoon. You're so cute. Looking so cute. Like she got groomed. Um, was it last week? Yeah, it was last week. And I, they had like this Halloween package upgrade thing going on, and it came with like a little bandana and like a little bow. I just took it off just to kind of give her a little neck a break. Yeah, like, I've been taking off her collar because, look, let me show you. They had to, like, literally shave her ears down. Let me show your friends, Ruby. Right here, like, she had so many tangles right there. And I do know that it's from her collar. You know, it's just, like, moving around and moving around. So, yeah, they had to, like, shave her down. But you can't really see with the ears. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Just kind of giving her breaks, like, at this time. Or, you know, just throughout the day. Like, she doesn't need to have that collar on the whole time. But, yeah, I took her little bandana off. But I'm going to put everything back on on Saturday when the guests come over. You're so cute. You smell like a baby. Oh, yeah, and if you guys saw me outside when I was reading. So, I ended up getting this book due to popular um recommendations <laughs> and i'm really into it guys i'm already what chapter am i on 
I'm over here. I'm about to start the good part right here. <laughs> so it's really good. I mean, I had put a story up on my Instagram like right before I was leaving to that Orlando flight talking about how I kind of wanted to switch up the genre and just get into like a book, like a story, you know, just something that was going to like keep me glued to a book because y'all know like I'm always reading, you know, self-help books like things like this but sometimes like these kind of books are like studying sometimes like you know it's interesting but still like i'm taking notes there's like little exercises and things you have to do so it's like a lot i'm like okay i want to just switch up the genre and just get like i don't know a thriller like you know just a story so i had posted that and a lot of people recommended this book and this author so this is my first book of her but i'm so far it's going good so yeah, I was reading outside. I've been trying to do little outside reading breaks because it's been it's been nice the weather like during the day, so kitchen light and i just have like my dining room light on it's so peaceful like that light was so bright but um but yeah i'm getting ready to go into the office and edit i plan on editing this whole entire video it's 9 13 p.m so i don't know how long it's gonna take me possibly like an hour and a half i don't know i don't think this vlog has like too many i don't know i don't even remember what i filmed so we'll see <laughs> but got my wine girl and i guess tomorrow i'll watch my show so i'm watching love is blind i don't know if you guys watch that show but i love it it's so entertaining it's like it's just so funny it's so funny and cringy that it's like entertaining <laughs> i've like literally watched all seasons and it's like i just love it but yeah so it's, um but yeah tonight the new episodes came out tonight i think it was tonight right the 26 it said but um because i'm gonna edit it's probably gonna be a late night so i'll probably watch it tomorrow but let me know if you guys are watching it and what do you think about it it's just so funny like <laughs> it's like mad drama it's just hilarious but um yeah i think that's it as far as like this vlog this vlog wasn't like too too exciting i mean i don't have that many updates for you guys but hopefully the next vlog so i do have plan on filming a day in the life med spa video you know that whole thing possibly i think i want to wait i don't even know i don't know if i want to wait until like my new furniture comes in because i don't know guys we'll just see but i really want to film like a start to finish because i kind of have a new routine now that um i'm in the new office um because i do a lot of like my work you know any kind of med spa work i try to do it like over there um because you know i have an office there so even if i'm like doing content like for social media or i mean just anything that's like related to revitalux like i try to do that over there and then when i'm here i'm doing like my work from home things which as of late it's just kind of been focusing on the iv hydration classes which by the way the next one is in december and <clears throat> um that's kind of what i was working on last week just kind of going back and forth with like hotels and things like that but i already have everything secured so i'm pretty excited um i'm excited like i'm excited for the food that i picked out like just everything i'm excited for this hotel i think it's gonna go really good they seem to be really like on point with like events and stuff so i'm excited 
but um but yeah as i was saying like i kind of have a new like day-to-day -day routine especially on my days that i do go into the spa so yeah let me see i think i think let me look at my calendar i believe next week let's see saturday gosh so i'm working saturday oh my thing froze okay yeah saturday is busy at the spa because i haven't been there in like two saturdays because i've been traveling so this saturday coming up is like crazy so yeah i think um i think at some point like next week i'll film that video so stay tuned and then i also want to film like a chit chat get ready with me video more kind of like more so a life update and maybe do some q a and things like that so stay tuned for that guys but, but yeah i am gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here so i can edit for you guys i will talk to you guys in the next video bye